Just got done uh, with a board meeting at Inspiration Stables. So um, amazing. Now, if you have any questions for her, she'll probably be able to answer them a lot smarter than me. Okay, no. so Kay, I asked Greg, and he said, "Ask my wife," <laughs> because she she might have a better, a different answer. Um, so he mentioned that Hannah was somewhat verbal and then went nonverbal and now is verbal again. What was the first word that you remember hearing her say? Papa. Well, yeah, no, I knew that. Yeah. I think, yeah, she did that before she lost the oh, language. Oh, you mean after know. she yeah. progressed? Oh, oh gosh. I don't remember. Well, that's very anticlimactic. Oh. I got <laughs> You don't have to I feel so bad now, Greg. Greg. Yeah, that was kind of my answer. I was like, well, it was kind of so incremental, and we just. It really was. And she, her service dog okay. is up here trying to get some attention. Yeah. Um, she, you know, she spoke in very broken language mm -hmm. when it started. It really, we could understand it kind of. Um, mm -hmm. You know, so it was a very like gradual thing and then and it also wasn't like she was speaking to us or trying to communicate with us it was just words yeah you kind of yeah almost adapt to their language mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and did she do any sign language at all yeah both twins did did uh, did you tell them they were both nonverbal nope so the twins were both nonverbal um good job greg <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. So when they started preschool at three, they've got to start on their birthday. Um, they were both nonverbal. Henry could say his name, which is Henry, but he said, Hey, Hey. Yeah. And that was kind of it. He maybe had 20 words by, uh, three and a half when we started to school here, I think. Mm -hmm. And then, um, but it was, it, but they both have, even Hannah still has a speech impediment. So they're really hard to hear and understand. You kind of, Hannah talks in riddles <laughs> and she um, talks in social story 